What is going on everybody, BuzzBrock30 here, and today I'm bringing you another Grand Theft Auto Online Deathmatch. This time we're playing in a custom deathmatch known as Trapped in Concrete. It's basically the original map concrete, but instead it's been created with barriers around and assault rifles only. Let me know that this is a basically an assault rifles only match and RNG as well. And I'm playing with three other players. It's basically a four for all, as we're all duking it out to see who becomes first in this uh, manslaughter that's going on. I am using auto aim because I'm a scrub like that, and because, you know, it's my preferred play style. I would do free aim, but the thing is, though, I suck at free aim. Yeah, um, I'm just being truthful. That and the rolls are real, and that's one of many deaths that's going to happen. Because I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not going to pussy foot around with this. I want to show you each and every death that I suffered in order to get to the top, as well as how many kills I have as well. Because trust me, during this whole match, I managed to run a streak. Unfortunately, I kept on getting owned at the end of each streak, which sucks, basically, and stuff like that. But yeah, other than that, I just wanted to do a little commentary over this, with the gameplay and whatnot, and what's to be expected of this week. Now... Going on this week, as we know, today is June 8th, meaning that come June 10th, which is Wednesday, this Wednesday, the new DLC, Ill-Gotten Ill Games Part 1, is coming out, one of two, this summer in June. And I am really am excited for the DLC as well, because, you know, you get new weapons, new clothes, new vehicles, it's basically all the money that you got from Heist or any other kind of mission that you've done and just like spoiling yourself basically and during out this whole time after this and a couple other death matches I just decided to just grind it grind up grind up grind up on a lot of money that was going on you know just collect as much money as I can and just spoil myself rotten because a lot of people deserve that and honestly when I think about that it's like it's it's very hard to grind up a lot of money when you try to get players you know, to do certain missions and whatnot, then you keep on dying from APC BS and whatnot. But, nah, I digress. I just, nah. Alright, well, let's just get on with the match. Now, as you see, I use all four rifles, excluding the AK 47, because it's not that I don't like it, it's just that I feel as though it wasn't powerful enough. The most powerful rifle, in my opinion, that I've used would have to be the carbine rifle mostly because it's just, I don't know, it's a, I prefer power over everything, basically. I'm, the, I'm a brute like that. But there are times when I use a special carbine because, it, I'm not going to lie, it's kick-ass, especially if a silence run, that way no one can see where you are, it's nice, and whatnot. And as much as I like to kill a lot of people, I end up getting owned, as I stated before. And I'm not going to lie, there are times when I pick up Bullshark to the stars from just to give me that extra bit of power, even though it usually doesn't help out as much. Now, I know it's stupid to get Bullshark to the from because it, like, basically boosts up all your stats, you know, like, increased damage and whatnot. I forgot the symptoms of it. But, you know, I just do it to get, uh, just get an advantage over my opponents, like, because... I don't know. I'm a scrub like that. And I just. At least I'm not trying to use scrub tactics anymore. Like most of the players are in this lobby. Like most of them were in cover. Just like corner popping, I think. And I'm not going to lie. I've done that before in the past. And, you know, it's come back to bite me in the ass. Because I'm trying to be that kind of change player who just adapts new styles, learn from other players, use their tactics against them, make it my own, and stuff of that nature. But I also learned that you should also also develop your own techniques and whatnot. Ever since I joined GTA Player Hater, thanks to Tactical Taco, Dirty Worker, and a lot of other people as well, I learned that I should always like keep on training and stuff of that nature. Just keep on doing the best that I can, no matter what. Just keep on training and training and training and training and training. Because I want to be that kind of person who's a good player. Not the best player, because I honestly don't believe in anything like the best player. I mean, yeah, there are going to be better people than you, but then again, that doesn't make you the best if you catch my drift. And thanks to Taco, you know, I learned a couple of things. The first time I met her was an Xbox Live party, and I'm not going to lie, she's a good player. She really is. If I were to 1v1 her as of right now, Chances are, I would get owned to the point of where I would just be, like, very discouraged because she's a good player like that. But most of the time, it's not about whether you win a match, it's about how much heart you have. And that's what I've been 
learning ever since I've been a part of GTA Player Hater. Besides the initial things to get into the group, such as mature age level, 10k kills, uh, KD ratio of at least over 1, I learned that it's not usually all about that, it's about how much work you put in, and there are a lot of people who put a lot of work into that, and I honestly respect the people who put all the work in order to become a GTA player hater. It just brings a lot of, like, it just makes me happy inside that a lot of people put a lot of work and time into this, and I know I have. The first time I actually saw, uh, the, uh, what is it again, the... I can't say post or anything on that. Like the first time I saw the advertisement of GTA Player Hater on Twitter, I was excited. I was like, "Huh, this is something I could easily accomplish. Let me just go ahead and do this." And bam, managed to get it done. I was verified about at least a week later, I, I presume. And it was fun. I got to meet a lot of other good players, and it was quite nice. It was is I've met a lot of people through that, and to this day I still talk to them. It's just. I don't know, it just makes me all happy and queasy inside. But um other than that, I'm just quite thankful for a lot for letting for them to let me into the group because to this day I still call myself a scrub. I'm still a scrub at heart because you know, like that's what I am. I'm not the best player, but I'm not the worst player. Well, I'll take that back. I can be the best player if I do my damn hardest, but I can also be the worst player if I keep on just doing a lot of the scrub tactics and just like not trying to change at all not trying to adapt is what I'm trying to make the point out of here and honestly like I don't know if I were to go against people who are better than me nine times out of ten I'm gonna end up getting my shit wrecked excuse my language but there are times when I do my damn hardest and just try hard with all my might and hope that I can win, just like what happened right now, like, you know, trying to roll at the same time as that guy did, and I end up getting owned. Like, I managed to kill people after I even die. And that's one thing I'm not afraid of, is to show my deaths. Like, it shows how much work I put into it. Hell, if I wanted to, I could make, like, the very first death montage, because I'm pretty sure that no one's made a death montage of them dying each and every time when they're in a competitive match or something of that nature. Sorry if I sound a little monotone, I don't know if it's, if it's, if it's because I'm tired or anything like that, but no, nah, I, I digress. Eh, it's Monday, so i pretty sure a lot of people know how I feel. Take note about what just happened just a moment, because yes, there are people who are using explosives within this match. I thought it was going to be assault rifles only kind of thing, but I'm like, you know what, let them use whatever they want. As long as I do what I'm supposed to do and just keep on doing it, I know for a fact I'm going to win. I'm going to try to use cheap tactics, like I would probably do in a free roam lobby or other stuff of that nature. Let them use explosives, let them use shotguns, because at the end of the day, when I smack the hell out of them, they'll know who the better player is at the end of the day. Also, I actually want to talk about an upload schedule I've been thinking about, because I can't upload every single day. There are times where I have to give myself time and just see which days I could possibly upload. So, I'm thinking about the schedule of uh, Tuesday, Wednesday uploads, and Friday and Saturday uploads, giving myself um, time to actually be able to, I don't know, get my stuff planned out and other stuff of that nature. Because if you haven't noticed, throughout this whole week or possibly last week, I've been uploading videos constantly, just trying to make sure that, you know, I'm still alive, have all my content coming out and whatnot. But yeah, I shouldn't upload that much. If any, I should just like take it slow, make it you know a little less paced, and just go slow paced because I'm a slow kind of person. I like going at a slow pace, but there are times when I will be rushed and I have to work under what's the term I'm looking for? Like, I have to work under pressure, is basically what I'm saying. And other than that, you know, just that's just basically it. So, Tuesday, Wednesdays. Friday and Saturday is, is when I might be able to upload. And here I am just face palming out what was going on. And yes, I am a losing streak as you can see. But, um, nah, I digress. It was a fun deathmatch, nonetheless. Also, the fourth player quit because you can see their KD ratio at the end of the match. But other than that, that's just, that's just something I've been thinking about 
when I made this commentary and this video. But anywho, love you all. Hope you enjoyed the new DLC this week. I will post my opinion in the description below, my speculation of it as well if you want to give that a look. So, love you all and peace.